Hello, welcome to Simfish Adventures UK. Thank you guys. Um, I'm loving the feedback you're giving me on some of these videos. At least I know they're serving a purpose and I'll continue to make them if you like them. Anyway, yeah, big thank you to you all, uh, new and old. And just keep sharing, liking, subscribing, you know the drill. Right, I have a few questions on South Wales sib anglers and privately about using Navionics. Now, I think Navionics was out about 2014, 2015. Absolutely fabulous on the kayaks. Even better on the sibs. And now the upgraded features on there, they are unbelievable. So, we'll dive straight back, straight in. If you've got Apple or Android, go and download... Um, Boat in UK Lakes, yeah, Boat in HD, or just type in Navionics, it comes up on the top. I'm not sure if you get a three a free two week grace period to try it, but I think it's about 35 40 quid. And when you come to Boat in, it's probably the most reliable 35 40 quid you're gonna spend. Hands down. Anyway, so we'll we'll dive straight in. We'll have a look at Navionics. So once you've downloaded it, the first thing you want to do is click menu, go to update maps, I can't do it because I'm on airplane mode, so I'll knock that off at the moment just in case we get disturbed, knock that back on. Um, Silent. Right, so we go update maps. So you check for updates if you've just downloaded, chances are you're up to date anyway. Um, another good tip would be uh, download maps. Right, so for instance, um, if you are going to say Oxwich, I'll use Oxwich, we can focus on Oxwich as a as a marker then when we talk about the video. Uh, download maps um, you get this finger pinch area right so zoom out cover the old Oxwich area you can either just finger pinch it zoom out and put it over is easy enough um, or you can do the old area so I just for, for argument's sake we'll do Oxwich Swansea and just click download. So download the maps. Um, once you've downloaded the maps, you'll see the if you zoom out, that's all the areas you've downloaded. Um, goes pretty much white. Anyway, so um, we'll knock off the overlay at the moment. We'll talk about that. Once you've downloaded your maps, this is what you'll have. You'll have basic, it'll be on nautical, so you'll have, it'll be basic. So if you go to the bottom left corner, as you can see there's a navigation arrow, a square and a pin. Push the square, that's your overlay. Go to sonar, always leave it on sonar. Um, gives you your detail then, all your contours, your areas. And if you drag your finger, you can see the depth changing. So, them contours means it's dropping off. The uh, closer they are together, the steeper the ledges are. Um, as you can see by your, I think, 7.5 metres down to 22 metres. You know, it's right away along a course. You can go along and have a little play and find some really good good areas um, yeah so your green your your basic mapping the green area means or it's all the way around the UK when the tide is at its lowest that is the worst case scenario that is going to dry out or when the tide is flooding that's the tide is going to cover that area so the green is can dry out or can be covered in water 
and just to give you an example low tide at Oxwich Bay is 0.4 nautical miles that is almost half a mile in English language like so if you're pulling your boat up there it's a fair old track so there's the slipway the tide is going to be right down by that pin and that's a satellite overlay so we'll go back then um, no overlay so green um, all the way around that is at low tide the depth also is at low tide so that is going to be it's the worst case scenario so it, it's not going to be lower than eight meters only if you've got big swells you're going to be could go down to, depending on the size of the swell but worst case scenario eight meters and high tide you know you could rise up another 10 meters so it could be 18 meters deep depending on where you are um we're talking about the bristol channel by here so it's the second highest tidal range in the world so you can expect a fast ebb and flow just for instance give you an example i'll go further up at the channel to give you some kind of example how fast that tide is running um so we are on go to the tidal right we're flooding now at 2.2 .2 knots this tide is flooding at Bristol at 2.2 .2 knots and it will flood at 3.6 it is maximum at 5 o'clock so all these tidal markers so flat home tidal marker will be blue when it's flooding, red when it's ebbing. These arrows here are showing the tide running. The tide is running there that direction at 2.2 .2 knots. So if you if you are drifting or planning to drift fishing, you know 2.2 .2 knots, you're gonna be drifting at 2.2 .2 knots by looking at this. So that is a good a good shout and if you push details it gives you everything in detail there and being in the bristol channel it is ferociously fast so it's always good to know these details on this app which will help you out massively so um that's the tide so you've got another tidal marker here at swansea it's telling you it's flooding further down the channel go the slower the tide is obviously but Further up your channel you go, up towards Sudbrook, Clean and the Seven Bridges, you can get tide running up there, seven to nine knots. But yeah, so we'll have a quick look at the the boys. Um, or oh, just what what I mentioned about downloading that map for that area. Just if you haven't got no signal, um, some of them just say that you need internet to run. Um, some of the features on on you is mainly run by GPS, but there is some features that need internet. So if you download a map of the area, it's all there anyway, and it runs offline if you want to. So we will have a look at some boys next: uh, anchor markers and boys and wrecks. No, no anchor markers, wrecks, uh, boys and fishing areas like um, your sandbars and that. So your wrecks at Port Einan, for example, it's perfect because you've got two different types here. You've got the one on top of the ledge with a dotted line around it and the one without the dotted line. Now, the dotted line on top of the bank means it's dangerous. Um, if you put the arrow over it, push question mark, it gives you all the details. Uh, dangerous wreck, value sound in 10 metres, always underwater, submerged. The reason why it's dangerous is because it's on top of a bank. At low tide, it's 10 metres. But at big seas and 
if you've got a big draft on your boat, that could become in, within contact. So that's why I think them dotted lines around it, and that's why I think it's become dangerous because it's within a big sea. Um, if you've got big swells, it, it could be contacted or become dangerous. The one below it, 22 meters, 23 meters deep, it's non dangerous because you know it, that's a deep old, old wreck, but you'll find that right away across the shore. Um, I'll turn the relief shading on. Now, this relief shading is probably the game changer for this app. It is absolutely mind-blowingly good for fishing. The detail, accurate, everything. It's even more accurate than the Fish Finder GPS. So, well, the whole app is, and it is amazing. So, it just... Have we seen Drain the Ocean? <laughs> it, it, it just reminds me of that. It's got to be that technology that is being used on you. So you can see all the sandbar. Look at the sandbar. Elwick Passage. Uh, Elwick East. Elwick Swatch. West Elwick. Now these are marks I want to try. But I'm just showing you, for example, the detail is just unbelievable. So these have got to be rich with fish. But also, it also shows that it could be dangerous too. You could have some waves and um, rough seas. But yeah, at Oxwich, you can see how the channel drops off to the point, like a funnel. And all the sandbars, the three-mile bank, it's just fabulous how much detail this this offers and I know there's a lot of videos on YouTube regarding relief shading so I won't blag on or bore you too much about it we'll um, we'll have a look at the marker boys now just if you are new to it each boy have got arrows on the top and they represent something so this one as you can see it's got two arrows pointing down now pointing down means keep south Keep south of this boy because there's ledges or there's shallow water example or the passage as you can see there goes through. Um, you have other boys then, marker boys, with different types of arrows. So that one there is pointing up on the bottom, pointing down on the top. It obviously means pointing west because it says on the top. Keep west, yeah. Um, you get ones pointing arrows both pointing up, which means obviously pointing north, and you get another one then where you got the top arrows pointing up and the bottom arrows pointing down, which means pointing east. But I know there's a lot to take in. You will find all the information you need on this app. It is absolutely full of information. So you don't need to worry about not knowing. Um you just click over them and they tell you. So, yeah, there's a west one. And you can go all the way through and you'll, you'll find them. And, yeah. So, and there's the east one. So, we covered all marker boys there. Keep east. So, fishing areas then, as we talked about, all these sandbars. And you can look for wrecks to fish. Um, I'll go back to... Swansea area. Now, let's look at this area here. Look how deep that water is there. 32 meters. Good bass in banks there. It's a good bass bank into really deep water. Now, that less than half a mile offshore. You know what I mean? You can get to these marks less than half a mile offshore. But, obviously, depending on where you launch from, if there's a launch site there, happy days. If not, you might have to launch somewhere, and then it becomes like four miles. So that is what you've got to look at. Even though it's only half a mile offshore, it might take you four miles to get there. So, yeah, you can scour the whole um, coastal line, and you, you can use the bottom right arrow that looks like a, a compass type thing 
push that and that gives you your you can measure your distance describe each end and that's in nautical miles but you can change them nautical miles in the settings um in units so mine is nautical miles i put it on miles meters liters mile an hour and celsius and i will go um mile an hour on wind speed as well but you can change that as it'll be a default set in for both in like nautical miles and kilometers whatever but yeah as you can see it gives you your exact mileage and but yeah absolutely brilliant so now we're going to quickly look at um another feature that is all on this plus the plus target sign i like to call it so weather click the weather it's going to give you the weather in the area that you are at now or in the area that you're over so tuesday we're warm um it gives you everything on it we're warm <laughs> everything you need to know will be on it tide wind tide ebbing tide speed everything it is brilliant so and you can tell the tide will be turning 6.7 wind boys tides currents so that's your current so you like the arrows tell you the speed of the current and which way is is running and that's what we looked at earlier um by your like the current is running there a two mile an hour I changed it now, it was 6 knots on it, so 2 mile an hour, 2.9 mile an hour, anyway, that's your current, and that's the direction it's running in at that time, so when you go forward, it'll change. So yeah, um, pretty much, that's the basics, we'll quickly have a look at running a marker now, um, if you like this fishing area, I'll show you how to put a marker down, um, We'll go to No Overlay, that's Mumbles, we go to Oxwich Bay. Right, so, if you like this area, for instance, by you. So, Yarrow's over it, push the question mark, click Marker, and you can rename it. Um, let's call it New... Bass mark. No bass mark. Next. And it's done. You can click any one of them. So fish A, fish B, fish C. Fish C. Save. And it comes up. New bass mark. So... And if you want to go to that mark, then what you do, if you're at shore and it's foggy um, and you think I want to go to that mark, click, click on it, click the question mark, boat to, and it'll give you a line which to follow. Click go and it tracks it as well. So if it's foggy when you're coming back, you can always track your line back by the same mark you come out, which is good. And it should you should do that really just in case the fog down because if our fog comes down, you can become if you pull an anchor, it's hard to know which way you're facing if you haven't got no uh, navigation um, system. But yeah, definitely um, a good thing. Also, we'll have a quick look at some other overlays. We've got a satellite overlay, which, I'll be honest with you, it's only for coastal, really. Don't really like that. Don't, wouldn't really use it. Terrain. It's that one. Yeah, it's, it's like old school mapping. Um, sonar chart shading. It is nice. It just shows you deeper blue, and but the detail is... Not as good as the relief shading, which is, as you can see, it is fabulous. 
it just highlights all the areas that you could fish and makes them a lot more um what's the word appetizing that's the one we'll go with appetizing so yeah um that's basically a quick look at it if you are debating whether to buy this app then honestly i'd buy this app before i bought the fish finder hands down 100 percent the only thing i'd say with this app it is battery hungry so if you've run it all day expect your battery to go within three to four hours that's the only downside with it and there is a wealth of knowledge on there to learn just by going through it all and loads of videos on youtube showing you well a bit more in depth than i have but this is just basically the basic understanding of of it of your relief shading your markers and how to measure but look at that area you wouldn't see that on navionics 2014 2015 and to have this relief shading you um you can get it on fish finders that are um have the ability to run it which i think are like the raymarines and you've got to have a platinum card i think i'm not sure where i'll have to check but yeah definitely worth the the money so yeah um thanks for watching um if you liked give us a thumbs up anything i missed or you want me to talk about in a bit further i'll do my best and yeah thank you and um i hope it serves a purpose for you